Hi everyone, uh, I'm Brent. I'm from the user experience uh, team at ChargePoint. I'm going to show you an overview of the mobile application. So when you fire up uh, the ChargePoint mobile application, it immediately, based on your location, finds you uh, the closest available charging station uh, by default. So it zooms into those. And uh, we wanted to make sure that the app helps somebody that were just uh, on the road, really need to find a place to charge. They open up the app, they can find the, the closest one available. So in our application, uh, the color green uh, is for available stations. Um, if you see, if you see one that is uh, blue, let's see here. You see, oh, zoomed in too much, but if you see one that's blue, those are are in use. So let's see, uh, let's see where we are right there by the blue dot. And uh, when you click on a station, uh, you can see this one has two available ports. You can see the status of each one. Um, you can start charging from the mobile app. You can get uh, some information about uh, tips that people have left. Uh, this one is for the one at the, at, the, at the conference, but you get the idea. Um, so then if I go uh, back into the station, you might ha ha happen upon a station that, uh, that is, is in use, and the mobile app can help you out in that case too. So if I go to this one, uh, the blue color, it's in use. So this one uh, is in use and it's a faster charging speed than the other one that's available. So you might not want to use that really slow one, but you can get notified uh, when available. So we have other features in the mobile app, uh, notify when available, and we also have uh, a queuing system that's available on certain stations. Uh, it's called a waitlist, that feature. Not all of our stations have them, but um, some do. So you can go to the mobile app. Uh, and another thing on the... Let's see, this one, this one's free, but not all the stations uh, are free. You can see on the bottom a summary of the station details, so you can kind of pop around. So free is always a good price, but um, when there is station uh, fees set up on the, uh, well, I can't find any of the fees in, in the Las Vegas area, I guess all the casinos, uh, trying to attract people to come to the station. So um, that's always a nice thing to look for. Um, some other some other kind of cool things on the mobile app. Um, I have a, a home charging product, ChargePoint Home. Uh, if you have that, we have fees with all the uh, utilities globally in the North America and in Europe. So we automatically figure out what the rate is. Um, all you have to do is um, tell us what rate plan you're on. I'm on this EVA TLU for the, uh, Pacific Gas and Electric. And uh, it calculates, it answers the question that uh, how much does it cost me to charge at home? So uh, sometimes you might think, well, is it better if I charge at home or charge in public? And this will help you answer that question. Now, you can scroll through all your charging session. You get back, this will update. And uh, you can see in December, I spent 37 bucks charging and I drove uh, almost 1,000 miles. So it's pretty, pretty nice cost savings um, for the EV. And then you can scroll back. Um, the, the blue is for my home charging that we calculate the price and then the orange is for public charging. Um, some, some new things were just released on, on the app is um, you can start the session as I was showing before uh, by clicking on that button but it, you can also just use your phone and, and tap on the station itself and uh, we have an embedded card on the station that doesn't require internet access. Uh, to start a charging session. So there's multiple ways you can char start a charging session uh, through the button or just tapping once you download the RFID card digital one into your uh, wallet for iOS and uh, Android as well. So uh, that's just a brief summary of uh, mobile app. Um, any, any other questions, go uh, ask for feedback on social media and we're, we're here to answer any questions you have.